Right guys, I've had a, a lot of comments on how to use Win, WinRAR, what Win, WinRAR is and whether, you know, if you've got one part, ten parts, five parts, which one do I need to extract or how do I extract it or how does it work. So I'll give you a basic tutorial of what WinRAR is. This will be my last video for a couple of weeks to go see me dad in Spain and I'm in the UK it's about two and a half thousand miles so as long as I live through this trip I'll be fine it's the last time I went out there I've had asthma for over 40 years now I've got a slight case of COPD and the last time I was so bad I was coughing up blood but hopefully it won't come to that this time because last time I went out there I got COVID <laughs> so Right, I'll show you what WinRAR is and what it does. WinRAR is a tool that if you want to upload to the internet for instance, you want to upload the smallest file possible, otherwise it takes you longer. And Win WinRAR also, you can add anything to a WinRAR file, it's like sometimes if you've got an EXE that they think is a bit dodgy, if you upload a folder, it'll get deleted. Sometimes they still do anyway, so you can double RAR it to give it extra protection. So I'll give you the link to the actual WinRAR site. There's a couple of different programs. There's WinRAR 7-Zip. There's quite a few different ones. But basically it's a tool to back up your system, take up less room or to upload smaller file sizes. If not many, there's some emulators that you can use WinRAR, RAR, ISO, these are all the different compressions it'll actually unlock. So you just follow all the examples of what it says there's no adverts and that on this one so then you go done so you can close this down then right for instance I've been working on the Simpsons hit and run which is 1.93 gig on Windows 10 and Windows 11 it has self extraction so you don't need WinRAR but WinRAR's a lot more versatile tool you can get a lot better compression on different formats the main formats are raw or zip so if you right click the desktop you can see it should be there I might have to reset the computer now, so if I right click there you go it's got WinRAR here so you can add to archive or you can add to archive with the actual name of the file compress is exactly the same compress an email which I don't use so I'm just going to go to add to archive so now here you have different options I've never used that one I don't know even if it's any better or not but the most common ones are zip and raw you have different compressions if you just want it for storage you do normal I never use store because it doesn't compress it at all so there's not a lot of point fast but I always use best best does take longer but it does compress it a lot more in case in cases um, I've got like 30 gigs down to 15 gig before so now here you can choose say something's 15 gig you could go to gigabytes and you can make them into 1 gig files or 5 gig files it's entirely up to you but remember when you say 5 gig quite often they come out 
slightly bigger so depend I use three Google Drive accounts which are 15 gig so for say I wanted to compress something I would choose 14.500 so I'd go on to megabytes and I'd put in 14,500 basically you got a thousand meg per gig so I'm not gonna do that at the moment I'm just gonna compress it now so then we'll see if it makes a difference it should do on this one because it depends if you've got a single file like um, a film or an ISO you won't get a lot of compression in this one I've downloaded the game added no CD patch added DG Voodoo and reshading converted from DirectX 8 to DirectX 9 then to DirectX 11 so it's quite an added anti-micro because older games don't use Xbox 360 controllers so this one should compress quite a lot so it's 1.9 we'll compress it now and I'll do it in real time so you can all depends on your computer how fast it will take how much be RAM well I don't have to take RAM um, CPU speed memory there is other compression formats but these are the main two and WinRoll pretty much open anything and don't smoke kids that's what's bad for you <laughs> dad's giving you a lecture <laughs> I've got to go with me dad's because he's somehow being banned from Facebook the nutter my dad's the type of person after two weeks you you like it'll just drive you nuts it's like when you're cooking he'll be, be behind you with a dustpan and brush and he's quite religious and I don't believe in God and if he preaches to me I tell him to you know what right so now we've got the Simpsons hit and run so this one as you can see is 1.93 gig and this one is now 1.3 so you know we say 0.6 of a gig so when you upload it'll be a lot smaller to upload so it take a lot less now I'll show you right we're going to do it again so right click go to WinRAR add to archive and this time we're going to do it I'm going to do it at megabytes and I'm going to type in 500 megabytes that's half a gig At least tobacco is cheaper in Spain. Well, pretty much everything's cheaper in Spain. My dad pays 270 quid a year for his council tax. <laughs> Mine's two grand. And when you're on benefits, I've worked all my life, got three dodgy discs in my back, arthritis, gout. So, 
yes so now we have three files so if we measure up the three files properties we got 1.31 gig but it doesn't matter how many files you have it doesn't matter if I click on the first second or third or 15th or 40th go to WinRAR you can go to extract files so you could choose your location um, if you don't choose your location and extract it to a different drive it will transfer it to your temporary folder first which takes longer but I'm just going to extract it here so I'll choose a third one right click WinRAR extract here if I have any comments in <laughs> every person should know this I have banned people for calling people newbies before because everyone, everyone's got to start somewhere first time I made my own PC many 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 years ago I broke a motherboard trying to put the RAM in the wrong way so there you go we all make mistakes so now you can delete M3 so that's what WinRAR is basically you know you can do other things with it you know but basically you can choose dif different directory sizes but there's no point add recovery records there's loads of things but there's no point but one thing you remember if you compress in files and say you got 15 gig and you want to compress them into 40 different files the more you, you compress into multiple files more chances of one of them may be corrupt and if one of them's corrupt then it won't extract at all I, I pretty much only have two files at a time because I use free Google accounts so you get 15 gig and most of my games I think the maximum one I've got is about 37 which I can compress into two so that's what I do I try and keep it to one but that's what I do so that's WinRAR for you guys great little tool um, I might post this one when I'm in Spain I've got it working now it's a bugger to get working but that's WinRAR for you so if oh oh well may as well compress it now because I'm going to post it at some point so I hope you enjoyed the video guys cheers